What's going on everyone? Dr. Tyler here. I'm a chiropractor in Newport Beach. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. Today's different. I'm getting adjusted. Me. And my, my buddy, Dr. Colton Korn, he's a great chiropractor in San Diego, California. He focuses more on rehab and education to his patients, but he's also really, really good at adjusting. In school, we were actually partners for a lot of it and we actually learned on each other. So it's really cool when uh, he actually drove up like 90 minutes just to come here. I adjusted him. We already posted that video, so make sure to check that one out too. And then right afterwards, he adjusted me. So a lot of good information in this video. I hope you enjoy. But first, I want to thank today's sponsor, Audible. With the new year approaching, it's really, really good to set good habits. And there's an audiobook that I listened to called Atomic Habits. I'm actually listening to it again for the third time. I feel like every time I listen to it, it really gets me focused. It gets me ready to set new goals, to get more organized, and to pretty much just become the best version of myself. I don't know about you, but I love listening to self-help audiobooks. It really just puts me in a right mindset. And I think when you dedicate your time to something like that, it really helps motivate you to kind of strive for something better. What's great about the Audible app is it lets you listen to titles like this anytime, anywhere, when you're driving, when you're at the gym, when you're waking up in the morning and you're making breakfast or something like that. You could just listen to it while you're getting things done. Sounds like a pretty good habit to me. Audible has a huge selection of audiobooks, podcasts, and originals from all different types of genres. Audible is so convenient and I'm such a big fan. It has the widest selection of genres, so there's something for everyone. It's efficient, it's fun, it's easy, you do it on the go, you can talk about it, you can improve your life, highly recommend. If you wanna give Audible a try, Go to audible.com slash Dr. Tyler or text Dr. Tyler to 500, 500 for a free trial today. Thank you so much again to Audible for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into the treatment. Today I'm getting adjusted by Dr. Colton Korn. He's in San Diego. Mm -hmm. You should check him out and you can see how good he is. Ow. Wait, <laughs> you're not good anymore. It's because you have tight shoulders, dude. Oh. Oh. Let's see, let's see, let's see what's going on. How are you feeling? I haven't been recovering well. After working out and then working all week and stuff, and like on the weekends, you know, I'm, I'm not recovering. I'm not yeah. like resting. Not stretching like I came in to yeah. see you for. <laughs> Diet hasn't been the best. Sleeping mm. cycles not, hasn't been the best. You know, it's building up. All right, I can feel. But nothing like pain right now? Like nothing like uh, any pinching, anything like that? Nah. Okay. I was let's go through here. Good. Tilt right ear to right shoulder. Any pinching through there or just nope. stretch, just tight? Over. No, just mm. tight. Okay, look over your right shoulder. Let me just see. You can go over the left. Any different side to side there or no? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Come back. Any pinching into the bottom of the neck, into that like neck crease at all there or no? No, it feels good. More like mid back right there? It feels stiff in there, yeah. In here? Yeah. Okay, but not getting the pinch, that's no. all. Okay, good. That's all I see all the time is people yeah, who are just collapsed yeah, and yeah. they're like, yeah, it's right in the like, neck ah, crease. Ah, I'm right like, there. that's not where you should be feeling that at all. I'm gonna lean this I mean, I did get adjusted like, what, like two weeks ago, but the last like real adjustment was you. Damn, really? I got adjusted here and there by students. Yeah. But you know, some people go 20 years yeah. without getting adjusted. That's horrible. And it's, you know, it's a lot because they're a they're they're nervous they're scared mm -hmm. or somebody tells them not to that's what i've been seeing a lot or they have a bad experience with a, some like really bad chiropractor and they just think that every chiro is like that true that would chalk up to them being scared or or just hesitant i guess mm -hmm. yeah but yeah it's really sad how do you know if your chiropractor is good i tell everyone now chiropractor has to have some type of video so you can see if they don't it doesn't mean they're bad it just means that you find someone else that has videos. Mm -hmm. Just to, because you need to see how they work, how they operate, you need to know. Like, what if you look at him and you're like, oh, he looks scary, I don't wanna do that. What, you're gonna pay a bunch of money and then find out in there, you know? Or maybe he's not that good and that's why he's not doing videos. You don't know. It's up to the chiropractors now to understand that and to make videos. How do you know if your chiropractor is good? I tell people this, it's really hard. To, um, to tell if you don't know what's going on. But if you leave the office feeling confused at all, then I don't think they're good. Like if you don't really know what happened, they tell you to come back 
and you don't know why, I don't think they're good, period. I think it's a good way to put it. Yeah. You should not be confused at all. Everything they did should make sense. And you should expect, like let you know what you should expect. Yeah, yeah. After it's, the treatment, through the treatments. And you know some chiropractors that unfortunately, or fortunately for them, they see a lot of people during the day. They don't have that much time to spend with you. And sometimes you, you just get left in the dust not really knowing what's going on. But you trust them enough to go back because they told you to. And then $6,000 later, you end up finding me. And I tell you not to come back. If you feel confused, go find something else. And it, al it also depends on your goals. And I feel like part of the video too, like you start to realize who's gonna match with your personality too. Because mm -hmm. that's another big thing. The people just like, you just don't vibe with that person at all. Mm -hmm. And it's like, hey, it's all good. I get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and right. it's, it's an energy thing too. Mm -hmm. All right, I wanna get this shoulder moving. I can still feel a little bit through here, but I kind of want to get this when you're on your back. It's right there. Yeah. Relax the head. Any pinch there? No. Good. Drop here. Oh. oh. Perfect. I was on the money. Yeah. Literally sliced <laughs> right through the joint. There's a little one here. It's not yeah. too bad, but I'm going to hook my thumb around here. Oh, already. Yeah, it was already, it was ready to go no, already. <laughs> it's normal if I feel ringing in my ears now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you feel your right toe? Uh, no? Yeah, Good. Yeah, no, okay. I do. Oh, damn it. Okay. I gotta do it. I gotta do it again. <laughs> yeah, this is just, just feel that, just sticking yeah. out of me. Okay. All right. Let me just check low back here real yeah. quick while you're at it. Got back muscle back here. Me too, man. Let's just feel. Is the left side sticking out, the, my uh, erectors? It's, yes. Yeah. Is that common for that? I don't know, it's just how my freaking spine is. Yeah. Let me just check your hips real quick. Oh, I got good quad flexibility. There feels fine. I have good quad flexibility. So many people, you try to bring them and it's like, that's it. <laughs> There's just <laughs> nothing there. That's I'm crazy. like, you that. need to I get like, but what I do feel though, as you were talking about like this development here on the left side is how like this hip just doesn't want to rotate compared. When I go to this side, I can get a lot further. Easy. Like it starts to, yeah. Which is funny because you have tightness on the left side, but yet your right hip. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm feeling is like. So maybe the left side's working harder. It's compensating for the right side. That's what I'm feeling here. That's what. You're a professional. Yeah, I want to hit this right here. Okay. I'm gonna bring this hip up just a little bit. I'm gonna open you a little bit, drop right into that L5 here. Oh, there. It was right there. That was L5. Yep, let me see. Cause this, as I'm starting to feel now, it's more this hip, if anything. This one, I'm just gonna open you up a little bit. Yeah, do it. I'm gonna come down, just try to gap everything, but it's, we gotta get this hip moving first. Here. Oh. Right on the fingertips, yeah. right at teal junction. Nice. Okay. All right, on your back, That's face moving. up. Perfect. All right, flat on your back for me, face up. No, I want to stay here. Okay, you can enjoy it. Hang on as long as you want. We'll be right back. Yeah. Stay there. I want to check this hip. Just to kind of confirm what we were feeling. No pinching, really. Uh, it was a little when you uh, flexed it. Pinching the groin there. Yeah, okay. just a little bit. And then, as we come into here, any pinch there. Does it feel different or the same as the right side? Uh, it feels looser. It's so weird though. It's it, usually my, my left hip is the one that like, there's pinching and pain. And, oh, really? But See, you know what's crazy? Lately, when I walk, I've been feeling more like supported on my left foot. Like for a while, tell me more. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm walking on the outsides of my feet, my arch collapses in, and I had a lot of knee issues on this side. But lately, I've I felt like, oh wow, I can feel my glute when I walk, you know? And, and then my, my foot feels like I'm actually pushing off with my whole foot. I was gonna say, because the left side feels better. And even yeah. when you're laying in your stomach, I can feel that. Usually my left side is the bad side. Interesting. Yeah. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna open up the back side of this hip, but I want you to let me know if it pinches in the front. It okay. should. It should be all into the glute here. Any pinch or no, just deep right into oh, the back pocket. So good. Yeah. It's just like all right into the posterior capsule of the hip. And I just get to lean. Oh. Yeah. Hang out there for a second. This is my favorite hip stretch right here. So what would it mean if I felt sharpness here? So it can be a few things. If I have you too far flexed, 
then as I'm pushing down, it's also pinching on the front of that hip joint. So I'll usually like bring it down or bring it out a little bit to clear up some room depending on their hip joint. Um, or like I said, we need to open up like the quads or like the hip flexors first, just get some like tension release out of the front of the hip and then I'll go back and redo it. So those are like my go-to things kind of open that up specifically. Bend this knee, put your foot flat for me. Yeah. Yeah. Now, just retest some stuff here. Feel. <laughs> oh, that feels so much better. Any pinch at all? No. Okay. Yeah. And it, and it just feels like less resistance. Yeah. That was it. Had it for just a second. Relax your head into my elbow. Good. This is that one I could feel when you were laying. You smell nice. Oh, thanks, man. You're welcome. Exhale. Drop. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. Breath in, exhale. A little bit lower. Yep. That was so easy. Breath in, exhale. Just a touch more up top. Look down, tuck your chin. Yep. Oh! Yeah. Oh. oh. Now lay down. Enjoy. There. That's mm -hmm. how you get it adjusted by a good chiropractor. Man, you hit that so freaking solid you were like perfectly in the pocket you didn't feel the right vector so you told me to bring my chin down and it bounced right back out your hand and then you just thrust it through it money mm -hmm. and you didn't rush it was just really good good job yeah. take your time yeah. seriously yeah, we're down. freaking nerds dude i like it though man it's, yeah yeah it's the details mm -hmm. it's really like it when you talk about like who are the really good clinicians it's like who does the little things well mm -hmm. And just going back to what you're saying, like when you're rushed, you're missing steps. Yeah. You're not letting them relax in between adjustments. Mm -hmm. They feel rushed. Mm -hmm. You're in a hurry. Because there, there's other things on your mind. Yep. And, and then you're just being general. You're yeah. not actually feeling for where the restrictions mm -hmm. are. You're just blasting to get pops. Mm -hmm. So. Which is also really fun. <laughs> <laughs> No pinch, right? Nope. Okay. Oh, wow. So clean. Right through the joint. Well, especially you still have pretty good motion. Yeah. So I don't need to go blasting through. Some people I do. Mm -hmm. Some people I just want to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here. There. That was it. Yeah. There's just that right side. See how he, he's he's feeling out the vectors after he palpates and after he's already set up. He's feeling out which vector he needs to push it through. Do you feel that stretch working its way down? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. My God. Just <laughs> get, get a good enough grip on it. It's perfect. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah. Where did you feel that? Low back. Yes. Mid back. Perfect. Lower neck. Okay. It, it blew up right in between my shoulder blades. And that was like the like the first time that you did it. Like I felt it just blow up. Good. That's what I wanted. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs>